Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. We've done some special effects before in Caden Live, <laughs> but never like this. Would you like to see how to do explosions in Caden Live, or at least a decent concept of one? <laughs> Who wouldn't? It's so much fun. Let's do it now. So once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. If this is your first time here, that's awesome. Thank you for spending your time with me. I do a lot of work on this channel to surface the cheap or free art technologies so that you can know about them and make good use of them. Thanks for being here. All right, so back to KDN Live here. We've done a lot of videos and a lot of work in this tool doing all kinds of things from audio to edit video editing. We're starting to get into visual effects and just see how far we can push the envelope in this tool. And so far, it hasn't put up any serious walls, so let's just keep going. All right, so we've looked at a concept before here, and I'm going to take my face away here. We started with a concept here before with the idea of making alpha videos and what this will do for you i'll put a card up for this what this essentially does is gives you a video with a transparent background and that property is maintained when you export it i had taken some campfire footage of my fire pit in the backyard and done a little bit of contrast and brightness adjustment in this tool to bring out kind of more of the fire and get rid of everything else and then i exported that under the render settings, there's a special area here, uh, video with alpha, and I've been using the MOV format. That's been working out great, and it keeps that transparent background. Everything else is what you'd expect, but the background is transparent. Um, now, that's based on what your chroma, uh, what you're doing for chroma, as you'll see in the other video, uh, but that's how it works. So that's how I made this part, and I wanted to kind of create a proof of concept here for how we can create fire, or at least something mildly combustive, because it's really hard to work with an explosion if you have nothing of the sort, right? So, starting with that, I took some of my props and I did a bunch of layers and I put this together, and this is what we came up with here, is I pretend fire to shot, and we got something that ended up into my backyard here. Now, this is not super high res. This is not perfect. This is just a concept. And I'm hoping you see it that way. This is not super realistic. This is taking ideas and hoping, giving you the uh, the format and the framework that you could take this and make something bigger and better out of it. All right. Keep that in mind as we go. All right. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and just kind of show you the different pieces of what this is, because there are a lot of different layers here. All right. So we have, let's take away everything else here for a second. We have the initial shot which is just kind of me putting my hand out with my prop and fakey firing you know making pretend that something's coming out of it all right that's part one all right the next piece of this is bring it up online here is the the shell or the projectile coming out of it and let's start right off with that now with this piece i am using the corners effect um, i have talked a lot about this i'll put a video up um, so you can go check that out. It was built around the idea of lightsabers, but it's basically a tool that lets you go do perspective adjustment based on a layer for pseudo 3D. So the video will give you some instruction, but that's what I'm doing where I created perspective of how this thing should be firing. And then I used the position and zoom effect, that's the second piece of it here, to do the animated motion of where it should go. So. I've done talks on how to do those things. I'm not going to get too deep into how the effects here work. I'm just showing you the different layers uh, so you can be familiar. And then uh, if you'd like to go check out those other videos and learn deeper how to use them. All right. So the rest of this piece here in this layer is the burn mark. Uh, <laughs> this is a very simple thing. It could be better. Again, I'm trying to do this very quickly to produce and give you the concept and uh, give you the idea. So this is just a circle with a very simple gradient going out of the edges to kind of simulate our burn mark. Um, in the ground because <laughs> uh, something just exploded at the very least that should be there all right next piece of this is the kind of i call them the blast tendrils uh, but it's just like the lines that go out 
This could also be better. At this point, the motion is limited to just one axis, which is right at you. Um, it would be better if these were separate layers so you could control them, that they could actually have their own sort of depth and go off into their own directions. But again, limited time, you can get the idea. Next layer is the actual smoke and blast circle, which is the kind of the, uh, the concussion, uh, the force of the explosion. That is using a simple, again, position and zoom effect and transparency just to give it a little bit of faded into us because it's not perfectly opaque. It has to have a little bit of uh, fadedness to it. Okay, next layer. That is one of those alpha videos that I told you about. And you can see this coming into play where I did not have to do any chroma. I'll show you right here. There is no chroma effect applied to this um, that uh, is, is causing that transparency to take on. Uh, you'll, you'll see this here, but that's again, just to kind of blend it with the background a little bit. The, the chroma effect is already done with the video, so it saves a lot of time having that already in place. All right, some of these other elements that are going on here, again, position and zoom, just so we could put it where we wanted to, and also kind of bring it into being as the uh, the projectile hits. It's very quick and subtle. Uh, it's very easy to miss, but if you look very closely, you can see it kind of popping up there uh, to sort of suggest that it's coming and it's combusting into being. All right. So no, no, no real big mystery there. It's just creatively using these effects. I did try putting a LUT on there to kind of give it a little more pop to it. You don't have to do that. I happened to have it there and I had some free cubes that I had found and I was trying that out. So feel free to do that as well. That might help you for trying to grade or blend or do a lot more with your video. And again, it's there so you can see it and uh, know that that's an option to you. It's apply LUT, all right? I've done a video on LUTs, by the way. If you're curious, I'll put another card uh, so you can go check out how to, how to navigate that, all right? Next is very similar. I wanted to give the fire just a little bit more layeredness to it. And this could, again, certainly be better, but trying to give a little bit more to it with a limited time. Similar ideas. Uh, again, position and zoom to put it where it is. Transparency to give it a little bit of blendedness and not it's not fully solid. It actually has some transparency to it as, as just in real life. Uh, so those are the two layers. That could get really as complicated or as detailed as you wanted to. Um, sky's the limit on that all right last piece of this and i tried to do this again this could be very detailed uh, but i kept it as a simple concept is the debris you can't have an explosion without debris all right very simple idea where it's just a collection of small dots that is animated with position and zoom and it just blasts out it grows up from nothing into everything all right, this would ideally also be controlled a little bit more separately where you have kind of a, a front piece of it and a rear piece of it at the very least so that they could separate into different depths of field. And that would make it a little more real. Uh, but again, this is just the concept so you can see it happening. All right, so those are all the different pieces that I used. I threw some sound in there just for me because it makes it uh, real when I hear it alongside of it. And that's the concept of what I did. This is kind of the longer clip just so I had more uh, stock footage to draw from if I wanted to layer it some more without using the same footage kind of invert it a little bit give it some more uh, interest all right and this is what we ended up with and I'll just kind of roll through these and let you see so this is in real time what we ended up with. almost too fast to see so let's slow it down just a little bit this is 50 percent And then lastly, we have 25%. All right, so that's what we have produced. I really hope that gives you some ideas on how to use this. And before I wrap this up here, this could have more uses than just creating visual effects. This can also help you deal with the troubles you face in life like this. So hopefully that helps you deal with troubles and also uh, gives you some insight into how to use Caden Live more um, and more because it's, it's free, it's an open source tool created by a fantastic group of developers. I recommend you go download it because you lose nothing by doing that and trying it out and giving it a, an honest uh, test drive. 
Um, I've done a lot of videos on that. I will put up a, a playlist so you can watch your way through that if you're very curious to see all the different wonderful things that this tool can do for you. So once again, I'm Nate. This has been Photo Learningism. I really appreciate you spending your time with me and learning something new alongside. This stuff is so cool and I'm glad you're here to experience it with me. And I would invite you to leave a comment, ask a question, and make this experience even bigger. Share what you know, share what tools that may do this even better. Share if you know some good information for the whole community and get involved with the like-minded creators. If this was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care. Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. Photo Learningism, that 